I started exporting bees because it was only uh, simple that we should do. At the end of each season we had excessive bees. Uh, because the leatherwood comes in a rush and we get so much honey in such a short period, these bees are waiting to be uh, taken out and put into their little cages and in three days time they'll be in Canada. The Queen Excluder is a, a grid uh, of holes, certain sized holes that a worker bee can get through but a drone and a queen can't get through it so that's the Queen Excluder. We'll go to these hives here and we'll lift the lid and we'll put excessive smoke into the front and we'll drum them and the idea is to bring half of the bees up through the queen excluder with the queen staying below the queen excluder of course. It gets so hot that we have to put water into our needles um, and to put the wet needles in on top of the hot ones to cool the thing, cool it down so we get cooler to make. We don't want hot burning hot uh, cinders and things going in there, you're only going to burn their wings and things. You need cool, lots of cool smoke going through the hive and they come up through the queen excluder and we can extract them from the hive. Then we take that top super off and shake it into a, 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 a funnel and put them into a container. Then they're, they're put into a, a box and though that box, uh, uh, the gate is opened on the front of that box and they are carefully measured into a, another container on scales till we get three pounds or 1.4 kilograms and then they go into their little export cage which has got lots and lots of fly wire on it because bees make excessive heat. We then add uh, a new queen to them and send them off and they're transshipped in Melbourne and they go to Canada. Before we can send any of these bees away, we have to have them inspected for disease. That's one of the protocol from Canada, and they've all been inspected and come up clean. We get a clean bill of health, and that's very important for all of us. They've got varroa destructor in Canada, and it's a very terrible thing to have. It's all over the world, not in Australia as yet, thank goodness. We're doing everything we can to keep it out. But that's why we sell bees to Canada. Uh, we earn some money for our excess bees and they get valuable bees that they urgently need. Last year we exported 17 pallets. They're worth about $110,000 a pallet, so it's only $2 million. But it's a little bit of extra money at the end of our season and it's a, most importantly, it's really good for our fellow beekeepers on the other side of the world.